Morning guys. The first thing I want to do is I want to install these rails into the back leg with a few dowels. Now the reason why I don't want to put a tenon through there is that because along this rail here there's a tenon that shoots out here. So then if I was to get this rail and mortise and tenon that in as well, I'll put a mortise in through there. And that will cut straight through that tenon and effectively reduce that tenon to a six mil long tenon. Not very good. So instead, if I use three dowels, one about there, one about there, and one about there, these two top dowels actually drilled through that tenon, but it, it still leaves enough bulk in that tenon that it's still good. And instead of cutting the tenon in half, it simply pins that tenon so that even if this glue was to fail through here, this couldn't pull out because those dowels will be stuck through there and it'll, it'll increase the, not the strength, but the durability of the piece. So I don't want to be too precious about fitting these back rails in here. So I've just got my square clamped up against the edge of that back leg, put in a few dowel pins, line up the edge of my rail with the square and flush it up to the top. Give it a tap and I've got three points there. One, two, three. Now I've got a match set and I can drill them out. And the glue goes in the hole. See all the glue that squeezes out when you're really close to the ends? comes straight up through the porous material. It hasn't cracked it, it's just come through the pores of the timber. All right, so I'm ready to glue up the carcass here. I've got everything all arranged the way that I want it. I've got my right hand panel that's gonna fold up. My left hand panel is gonna fold up. The face frame lifts up and these rails slip on there. So let's do it. And it's gonna make a bit of noise. So I'm gonna put my earmuffs on because I'm a big wuss. Stand that one up, stand this one up, face the camera as best I can. This is so much more annoying when I film it, but I love you guys, so you're all right. Ah, I'll never clamp that up, or rather I'll never squeeze it together. So, a little bit of glue along the back edge of that groove. And along this edge here. And on the other side. Yeah, flush, 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 flush. Good enough. All 
Right, so that was a lot harder to glue that up than I was expecting. And it's not quite right, it's not quite square. It's not sitting flat, it's almost like it's out of square by about half a mil and it's not sitting flat by about, oh, maybe a millimetre. So I'll have to shave off a little bit off the feet so it sits flat. And the out of square, I might be able to pull that back into square when I put some bracing into it. But for now, I need to machine up some material to shoot, shoot across the sides here to act as the draw guides and kickers. So I need to pack out 20 mil just to get in line with the face frame. And then I'll put another 20 mil piece again to create a little L section so that the drawer has something to sit on and that underneath that will also act as the kicker for the drawer underneath. So I've got a cutting list. Let's go cut it up and machine it. So with the draw guides and kickers and all of that all cut to length, ready to go, I'm going to go over there and undo those clamps and glue up the next one. All good. It's nice and light too. I like it. Yeah, there's a little bit of rock these the left leg and the back right leg are low and the front right and back left is a little bit high that's all we've got so it's actually pretty bloody good and i'm only assuming my table saw surface is actually flat which is probably pretty close so it's only like half a mil pretty bloody good got to get lucky sometimes all right, there's no time like the present, so let's get this second one glued up. Hopefully it goes as good as the first. I have no idea where GoPro's pointing right now. <laughs>
Oh, I reckon I've probably got enough glue in there. Oh, that was a good one. I don't know if you can see how much glue I get inside there, but it's filled up by about half an inch. Alright, so this will sit here overnight and dry. Tomorrow I can start filling up the insides with the draw guides, kickers and rails. And that shouldn't take me too long. So I should be able to, if I do that, I'll start working on the drawers. Not overly concerned about the top. The top I just glue it up, flatten it, screw it down and it's done. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.